Hello, great to see you guys. So I'm already here with my friends on Zoom. When I look down, I'm looking at my friends on Zoom. Hey guys, and I can hear them talk to me. And when I look up here, I can see you guys on Facebook. Uh, my name is Mr. Robert, PhD. And let's start today. Let me reach in here and get one of my picks. I got, what's this thing called again? What's this thing? It's like a guitar, that's right. But it's a ukulele. Let's count the strings. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four strings only on a ukulele, not uh, six, like a guitar. So let's sing a happy day. Here we go. One, two, three, four. It's a happy day. It's a happy day, and a lovely way to grow is to learn to live in the human world and learn all the things they know. It's a happy day, and I'd like to say hello one more time. It's a happy day, and I'd like to say hello. It's a happy day. is to learn, learn to live in the human world and learn all the things they know. It's a happy day, and I'd like to say, and what do you guys say? Hello. Hello. All right, let's have a jam party. You guys ready to jam? You guys all got your instruments out? You guys are ready to jam? Let's see, I see a tambourine. I see a, uh, a kazoo. A bunch of you guys are four, right? Who, who here is four? Who here is four? Whoa, we got a lot of fours today. A lot of fours. All right, let's jam. Ready? One and two and amen. I say hide it under a bushel, meaning hide your light under a bushel, you know, under a plant. And you guys say no. So if you ever hear me ask you, hide it under a bushel, I want to hear you guys all shout out no. It goes like this hide it under a bushel. No, you've got to let it shine. You guys got it. Hide it under a bushel. You've got to let it shine. I asked you, hide it under a bushel. You've got to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. And show you love. What about at home? You're going to let that light shine at home too, right? Even in your home. 
own children, you got to let it shine. I said, even in your home, you've got to let it shine, shine on even in your home. You've got to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, and show you love. jamming guys hold up your instruments i want to see your instruments yes i see someone made the tube i see you gorka nice we got a lot of friends in class today oh i think that i'm scrolling my screen here so i can see oh i see oliver hi oliver that's your instrument gorka i can see it and who else is saying hi to me and then i have anna i know your guys' names are uh, 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 Edward and George, right? So we got Edward and George here. I'm pretty sure. Sometimes the name that I see on your Zoom screen is different from your name. So I got to try to remember, right? So let's write down who is in class today. Ta -da! So we got our friends board here. Friends, friend, friends board. So let's see who do we got. I think we got um, we got Oliver and George. I mean Edward and George, and we got Everett. Oh, gotta add on Everett. Oh, do we have Everett? I heard someone say Everett. Um. Maybe not, but I know we have Oliver and Ben. And we got Ryan today. We got who? Who did you say? Say it one more time. Did you say Ollie? Okay, yeah, I got, I got Oliver right here. And who else we got? Gorka Quinton. Did I put Quinton on here? I didn't put Quinton. No, here he is. Okay. And Charlie. Yep, Charlie. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. And uh, let's see over here. Oh, I didn't put Lou. Put Lou right up on the top here. There's Lou. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Anyone else want me to put your name on the names board? <laughs> Looks like we got everybody. Uh, we have, uh, uh, yeah. 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 I don't know if you can recognize your own name yet. But for example, for example, this name says Frida. And if you don't already, one day soon, you'll know how to write your own name. Frida. Frida. Oh, some of you can already write your own name? I can write my own name. Yes, nice. Okay, guys, now, remember last time I said we would be making something special today, right? I said we would be making some pan pipes. Sounds like this when you play them. Pipes. So all you need to do to make pan pipes at home is you just need some straws. These are drinking straws. Blah blah blah. Drink milk, or you can blow bubbles in your milk. You just need drinking straws. You need a pair of scissors, and you need some tape. That's it. So. Go ahead and find straws and scissors and tape 
And while you're doing that, You know, if you don't have straws, you can just take paper and roll it in a tube. It's the same thing. Just take a normal piece of paper and roll it in a tube. So I'll give you a minute to find some straws or paper and tape and scissors. And while you're doing that, I'm going to show you a funny trick. If you take a straw and you just cut off the corners so it looks like this. I'm going to show you the funniest trick here. This is not for a pan pipe. This is for a different thing. So it looks like this. It's kind of hard to see. See that? <laughs> and then you stick this way back in the middle of your mouth. And then you can drive your adults crazy all day long. But it will take you many tries to get it right. Basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get those two flaps to vibrate back here in the middle of your head. And once you get it, it works very much like a reed instrument. Like maybe you've heard of an instrument like the bassoon or the clarinet. Maybe you've heard of funny instruments like that. It kind of works like that, where there's a reed that vibrates in your head. That's a little bonus one for you. Okay, back to the pan pipes. So you want to get your straws, and you just want to cut your straws so they're different lengths. I'll show you what I mean by that. So you see these two straws? Look at these two straws. Right now, they're the same length. They're the same longness. And we want them to be different lengths. We want them to be different longness. So if you have extendable straws, you could just whoop. See, now they're different. Or if you have scissors, you can cut it. Watch that. Boink. So now they're different longness. They're different length. And when you blow over them, it makes a different tone. So listen to this when I blow over it. I'm going to blow over in my, in my microphone so you can hear really well. Can you guys hear that? Yeah. It's making two tones. Do, 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 do. So that's two notes. If you want more notes than two, you add more straws. So here I can add another one. I'll make that longer. And here's one that's shorter. And here's one that's shorter too. So now you look here and I have five straws of different lengths. So I can make five different tones. So mine sound like a... This is what mine can do. You got five? So once you have your five, like that, you can just play it like that if you want. You're done. Or, to make it easier to hold, you can tape them together. So here's some tape. Now, if you don't have straws right now, that's okay. You can make it out of paper later. There's one, two, three, four, five. So here's my five straws right here. I'm gonna tape them together. Tape them together near where your mouth is going to blow on them. Ta-da! Can you guys hold yours up? I want to see if anyone made it.
Is that George? I think that's George. Oh yeah, George, you made one. I can see that. Nice, I see that Wilder made one too. Let's see who else made one. You guys got it. Do you want to play yours for each other? Let's play them. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. So if you blow into it like this, you're not going to hear anything. You have to blow over it like this. So don't blow into it. Blow over it. Okay. Now we can jam with our new pan pipes. Let's jam to Handyman Handy Lady. I'm not ready yet. You're not ready yet? That's okay. You can keep working on it. You can keep working on it while we sing. A handyman and a handy lady. A handyman and a handy lady. A handyman and a handy lady. They ain't fixed nothing yet. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. A handyman and a handy lady. A handyman and a handy lady. Yeah. A handyman and a handy lady. They ain't fixed nothing yet. Let's do a music man, music lady. A music man and a music lady. They ain't played music yet. What's another job? How about teacher man, teacher lady? A teacher man and a teacher lady. A teacher man and a teacher lady, yeah. A teacher man and a teacher lady. They ain't taught anyone yet. Uh, let's do... What's another job? How about doctor man, doctor lady? That's a job. A doctor man and a doctor lady. Oh. A doctor man and a doctor lady. Yeah. A doctor man and a doctor lady. They ain't healed anyone yet. Let's do handyman again. Oh, handyman and a handy lady. A handyman and a handy lady, yeah. A handyman and a handy lady. They ain't fixing nothing. They ain't fixing nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't fixing nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want to play a game? Okay, this is a listening game, so you have to listen very carefully. Now it's time for everyone's favorite game show, baseball, tennis ball, or stick. So you might already know how to play this one, but I take out a couple sticks and some other things to hit with the stick. So here I got, here I got a couple of drumsticks, a tennis ball, and a shaker. Now I'm going to hit different things with the stick and you are going to listen very carefully and remember what it sounds like. So this game is about listening carefully. So first, let's try the stick. So here's a stick. Here's a stick hitting a stick. Listen carefully. Remember. Now here's a stick hitting a tennis ball. And here's a stick hitting a shaker.
let's listen to those one more time. Here's a stick hitting a stick. Here's a stick hitting a tennis ball. And here's a stick hitting a shaker. And now it's time to play baseball, tennis ball, or stick. In today's edition, we're playing with a stick or a tennis ball or a shaker. So here's the part where you can't look, all right? Don't look, I'm gonna move the microphone. Here's my microphone. Microphone. I'm gonna move my microphone down here and I'm gonna play the instruments where you can't see them, okay? So baseball, tennis ball, or shaker today? Baseball, tennis ball, or shaker? Which one is this? Which one is that one? It is the shaker. Let's try again. Is this a stick, a tennis ball, or a shaker? It is a tennis ball. You got it. All right, let's listen again. Is this a stick, a tennis ball, or a shaker? It's a stick. Okay, bonus round, bonus round. What's this? What's that one? This is a bonus round. It is a tambourine. You guys did great. Thanks for playing baseball, tennis ball, or stick. There's all different things that you can hit with a stick and they make different sounds. You might go around your house and listen carefully to the different things, the different sounds things make in your house. Like I saw one of you guys has a paper tube. That makes a great sound when you hit it. Okay, almost out of time. Let's do one more thing. You guys remember I was telling you that the libraries are closed, so you can still share your books with one another, right? On video chat. So I'm gonna share this book with you. Do you wanna hear one more gross poem? Let's hear a gross poem from Roald Dahl. Let's see, I'll pick a short one today. <laughs> okay, this one is called The Tummy Beast. The Tummy Beast by Roald Dahl. One afternoon, I said to Mummy, who is this person in my tummy? He must be small and very thin, or how could he have gotten in? My mother said from where she sat, it isn't nice to talk like that. It's true, I cried. I swear it, Mummy. There is a person in my tummy. He talks to me at night in bed. He's always asking to be fed. Throughout the day, he screams at me, demanding sugar buns for tea. He tells me it is not a sin to go and raid the biscuit tin. You know, I know quite well it is awfully wrong to guzzle food the whole day long, but really, I can't help it, Mummy, not with this person in my tummy. You horrid child, my mother cried. Admit it right away, you've lied. You're simply trying to produce a silly, asinine excuse. You are the greedy, guzzling brat, and that is why you're always fat. I tried once more. Believe me, mummy, there is a person in my tummy. I've had enough, my mother said. You'd better go at once to bed. Just then, a nicely timed event delivered me from punishment. Deep in my tummy, something stirred, and then an awful noise was heard. A snorting, grumbling, grunting sound that made my tummy jump around. My darling mother nearly died. My goodness, what was that? She cried. At once, the tummy voice came through. It shouted, Hey there, listen you. I'm getting hungry. I want eats. I want lots of chocks and sweets. Give me half a pound of nuts. Look snappy or I'll twist your guts. 
That's him, I cried. He's in my tummy. So now do you believe me, Mummy? But Mummy answered nothing more, for she had fainted on the floor. Is that a silly one? Do you have a voice inside your tummy telling you to eat? My voice loves to eat cereal in the middle of the night. All right, let's sing the breathe song. What'd you say? I'll unmute you guys so I can hear you. Okay, so that's all the time we have today, but I'll be back tomorrow, and you can see all of your friends tomorrow at 9.30 California time, all right? So remember to hug your adults. Your adults are working really hard for you because they have to do their jobs and they have to take care of you all day. Try to calm down your body. Sometimes you feel real excited. So let's try the breathe song. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. My feelings aren't me, I control them. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, breathe out. today you guys I will see you again tomorrow at 9 30 California time say bye to all your friends tell them you see them tomorrow bye Wilder thank you